So we're gonna give this a go. Steve has been, ah, Steve's been working out. <laughs> So yeah, could you start by talking a little bit about your journey from childhood? How did you get into... <laughs> We're going back there. We're going, oh, we're back, going to back to childhood. I childhood, love it. Childhood, yeah. Where, how did Daisy become... Hi, Surface95. I'm Daisy Doris May. I am the founder and creator of House of Dons. We are here in London at the box getting ready for my show tonight. How to flirt the Ted XXX talk with my drag king, Steve Porters. If you told me a few years ago that we would be doing a show at the box, I would have completely laughed and never believed you. <laughs> I think I've always tried to find ways of being creative. One of those ways was actually creating characters. My first character was the divine Karen Moonstone, who's a self-appointed guru. She's absolutely ghastly. So I'm gonna be giving some tips on how to stay zen. It's important to be around nature. Basically, festivals have been my playground for mm. over a decade. I would just be a different character for an hour and I used to just love it. And then, yeah, then I discovered the drag king world and it blew my mind. <laughs> Steve actually came first. He's kind of based on boys that I grew up with in Guildford. Got the get up, he's got the swag. We're gonna be listening, learning, loving, hopefully. Boy. He does say the wrong thing sometimes and he some of the chat up lines is crude, but he, yeah, like I said, I do actually think he's got a heart of gold. And if you meet Steve, you'll you'll see that he's actually quite tender and he's quite insecure and um He's just trying to fit in. Yeah, I, I totally find it electric and it, the adrenaline rush is nuts. And sometimes I'm so nervous before a show, I'm like, why am I doing this? But yeah, when you're out there and people are just wanting you to thrive on stage, I think it can be the best feeling ever, really. Well, the, yeah. the dreaded mm -hmm. word we won't mention happened and I ended up being pretty isolated in my house. And I was living on my own, obviously going a bit mad and very lonely. And I just started playing with these different characters. Hands, I found a harness under the bed, as you do, and a beret. And I just, this German alter ego came out on the Russell's history. And that day I went to Tesco's, there was a massive queue. And I just thought, this is really jokes. This is like a club scene. So I went to the front of the queue and I was like, hi, Bush, I'm on the gas list. And they were like, what are you, NHS? What's going on? Anyway, obviously got sent to the back of the queue and Hans was kind of born just to keep myself entertained and maybe my, my closest friends at the time. Okay, this is the worst I've ever done my makeup. No, it looks good. No, you know what it's like when you're doing it in front of other people? I think through Steve and through my drag in general, it's helped me go on a journey with my own gender queerness. Um, being a queer person anyway, married to someone from uh, the opposite side of my gender, I feel it's another way to kind of express my queerness. And I'm really grateful for drag for that. Love it in the JD sports bar. <laughs> the horny socks as well. Normally, if I'm doing a gig, I'll just wear my for them binder. But tonight, we're going all out. <laughs> Why does it look like he's got a little, <laughs> little scar? I wanted to create a platform where we saw more drag kings. For example, at Pride events, there were always a lot more queens. And so I was like, why are drag kings not, you know, shown in the same limelight? And obviously there are mainstream shows which have put queens on the commercial landscape. But for me, I was like, kings are so political and punk and every king is so unique. So I thought, let's create a space where we don't just platform kings, but we almost see how the kings interact with each other. So it's a hybrid of theatre and cabaret. Obviously, like, it suits Steve that it's creased. 
His mum, Steve still lives with his mum, by the way. And Rosa probably does his ironing and his washing, but without fail, I have creased clothes for Steve. <laughs> it can be absolutely anything. Like, expect the unexpected. Just like gender is a completely fluid spectrum, so is drag. So I think when you are experimenting with drag, if, if anyone is watching this and they want to get into drag, I would say try and not limit yourself by saying, like, this is the stereotype of, of a man. Like, how can you flip stereotypes? And, yeah, like, it's all up for grabs. Are you single, by the way? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not. You're not? No. No worries. Look lovely though, by the way. Oh, thank you, Steve. Are you a magician? No. Because it's weird, just um, when I look at you, everything else disappears. <laughs> oh my god, that's the sweetest thing anyone's ever said. So if things do go Pete Tong, you won't call us Steve, oh yeah? I'll do. Can I maybe kiss your hand or give yeah. you a card? No worries, yeah? <laughs> it was a no, and that's okay. <laughs>